In a previous presentation, I discussed mixed method research design with reference to its definition and background. In the current presentation, I would like to discuss the main types of mixed method research designs used in social sciences. So let us first start with a definition of mixed method research design in social sciences. And we'll also have a bit of background. So research that makes use of both quantitative and qualitative samples, data collection, analysis, and interpretation methods in order to respond to research questions or objectives is termed as mixed method research design. Uh, there are several typologies of mixed method research and these typologies are based on uh, research aims, sequencing or emphasis of one or another research method inside a mixed method research design, or research design flexibility. And so on the basis of these cons considerations, these typologies have been devised by various academics and researchers. One of the most popular typologies is that of Creswell and Plano Clark, 2018. And in this presentation, we will mainly focus on describing this typology. So uh, the typology of, of Creswell and Plano Clark that uh, has also gone through some evolution. And so they came up with this typology um, of six, uh, describing six types of mixed method research designs in 2003, then four types in 2007, seven types in 11, and the current one, which is the three core types in 2018. And these three core types include the convergent design, which is qual plus quant, and the sequential explanatory, um, and then the sequential exploratory design. So let us now discuss these three briefly. The convergent research design has equal emphasis on the quantitative part of the design and the qualitative part. And so there is convergence of both quant and qual data in order to have better insights into the issue. And remember that mixed method research design is essentially an outcome of the pragmatist approach to research which actually means that the ends of research are more important than the means, or in other words, it is imp more important to explore what we are interested in, that is our research objectives and questions, rather than the use of a particular research uh, design or method. So there is equal importance of both sets of data in the convergent design, and the comparison for authentication or validation of result is then one of the features of the convergent design. So generally, merging results in order to have better insights into the issue that is under consideration um, is actually the ultimate aim of the convergent design. The explanatory sequential design, uh, which is, um, which there you can see the notation of that, or symbolically you can say that quan leading to qual. So generally it begins with the collection analysis and interpretation of quantitative data. And then this is followed by the collection and analysis of qualitative data. Generally the qualitative data is, you can say, a subsidiary process, uh, the qualitative data collection and analysis. And the aim of this is actually to consolidate or explain the findings that have come through our main research uh, part, which is the quantitative part. And then 
there is an interpretation of the findings of the main quantitative findings in the light of our findings from the qualitative part. The last one, the third typology, the exploratory sequential design, is begins with the qualitative part of the study, which is, and that's why it is also called exploratory research, uh, explore, exploratory sequential, because the, the, the beginning of the research is uh, is in exploration. And as we know that uh, we conduct qualitative studies when we don't have um, enough theoretical background of uh, related to certain issue. So that's why exploration uh, begins. And so the collection analysis and interpretation of qualitative data, then uh, this gives us insights into actually developing quantitative tools in order for us to be able to get insights regarding the generalization of our findings, of our initial findings from the qualitative data. So the quantitative tools are actually developed in the light of our findings from the qualitative part, initial qualitative part. This then leads to the collection, analysis, and interpretation of quantitative data. And ultimately, um, there is a synthesis. So our, inter our, our uh, findings from both sets of data then leads to a synthesis or an overall interpretation of the results. And thus, we have a deeper um, and better understanding of the issue uh, because the issue has been explored using both quant qualitative and quantitative data collection and analysis processes. Here are some, the, some important references and suggested readings that can help you in further consolidating your understanding related to the, the finer details of the mixed method research design and its various types. Thank you.